respect to our departed comrade. When the call of our country was heard, Com Comrade Glenn Burkett answered self was forgotten in the cause of a greater good. As a brave man, he marched away with an abiding faith in his God, his country, and his flag. The red of our country's flag was made redder still by the heroism. The white, more stainless, pure by the motives which impelled him. And in the st starry fields of our nation's glorious banner, the blue has been glorified by the service he has given for American ideals. Chaplain, uncover. Almighty and merciful God, the Father of all, in the midst of these mountain, mountain moments of the dead, we see your hand of mercy. In the depth of our sorrow, we realize the truth that though we die, we shall live again in the shelter of your love. As comrade after comrade departs this life, we march on with our ranks growing thinner. Help us to be faithful to you and to one another. I ask that you would look upon mercy with mercy on all of us assembled and with your compassion and tenderness console and comfort those bereaved by the hand of death. Give them the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaven with us. Heavenly Father, bless our nation with freedom, peace, and righteousness. And through your sovereign and Holy Spirit's favor, may we meet all that before thee of thy throne, the grace in heaven. And to your great name shall be praised forever and ever. Amen. One by one, as the years roll on, we are all called upon to fulfill sad duties for the respect of our departed comrades. The presence, full of the cares, and beseech our nation, whether engaged in war or peace, fades away as we look back on the days this comrade left his home to defend his country. Rebuked by the spirit and in in a devotion and inspired by an under, underlying love of his nation's land. We gladly went forth and joined with comrades both young and old to preserve our heritage of freedom. We trust that the example set by our comrades will prove as glorious beacons to the youth of our country who may be called upon to honor our flag. As the years roll on, we too shall have finished our fight shall be laid to rest, and our souls follow the long columns of their realms above. As all unfold in death, hour by hour shall mark his recruits. Comrades, let us go so and live that when the keeper of the eternal records shall have called upon our nation for the last time, those we leave behind may say of us, as we say now, of this comrade. Here lies all that is moral of a true hearted comrade and a fearless defender of his country and his flag. We come here today to honor the memory of one who offered his life as a service to our nation's cause and to our God. Proudly we remember his service. Because men and women like our comrades, we live in a land of freedom, peace, and justice. May our ceremonies of today deepen our reverence for our honored comrade and friend. We believe that our comrade is now in the hands of the Heavenly Father, the Supreme Commander and Judge of all. We lay our comrade's ashes to rest. Let us cherish his virtues and learn to imitate them. Let each of us be loyal and faithful to our remaining missions that we too will be able to join in that green grand fraternity which is on earth and in heaven and remains unbroken. We realize how futile mere, mere words are to express our deep and abiding sympathy in our loss. May we be comforted by the assurance that our comrade, friend and loved one is at rest in God's eternal peace. 
and abides in a place where all burdens are lifted and there's no more sickness and pain. Let us now pledge ourselves anew to provide support and protection for those left behind, to pick up the banner laid down by our comrade and continue his march to face the challenges that confront, up in this, confront us in this life. And may God always be our companion and guide. The brothers shall rise again. I am the resurrection and the life. Dust shall be returned to dust in the spirit of God who gave it. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, the spirit unto the great spirit that watcheth over our lives and souls of all men. Amen. I present this flag to you on behalf of the United States of America and the veterans of foreign wars. That concludes our service. Is there anybody else who would like to say a few words or do any comments? God is not.